Hi, it's Michelle here from Apple Fall Tree and I just wanted to pop on really quickly to show you exactly how easy it is to sign up for Veganuary 2018. So we're going to pop across here into Google, type in Veganuary, here we are, straight to Veganuary.com, try vegan this January, take the pledge. So it brings you straight onto here to the main page. We're going to click on take the pledge. And here we are, it's completely free to sign up for their 31 day vegan pledge. There's a little form to fill in here, it's going to take you a few minutes just to fill this in, two minutes at the most. This information is going to be used to send you a daily email throughout the whole of January, throughout the whole of your 31 day pledge. That email is going to be full of tips useful information, frequently asked questions, myths, recipes, meal plans, everything you could possibly need in order to, to get you through your Veganuary pledge. If you could just fill in the extra information here, so things like your current diet, this is all going to be used purely by Veganuary for their own demographic reasons. It's going to help them in the future to tailor their message, to tailor their advertising campaigns. It's going to give them a good idea of the kind of demographics of people that are signing up and exactly who their message is, is reaching. So if you can just take the extra step just to fill out the, the rest of this information. And as I say, it will purely be used just for demographic reasons and to send you your daily email. Moving on down here, when would you like your pledge to start? This is a really great feature. You can actually begin Veganuary any, any time of the year. But say for example, if you weren't quite feeling ready to sign up on the 1st of January, if you needed to go get your shopping in, if you had some kind of, of event coming up in the first week of January and you weren't quite ready to start, you can pop your, your own start date in here, you can choose to get yourself ready, you can go through the whole site if you wanted first to decide when, when the right time is for you. So you can pop your, your date in there, you can choose to start now, in seven days to give you time to finish your cheese, <laughs> or on January the 1st, that's true Veganuary style. There's also a little section here, if you can just check this section as well, it's just to answer a few additional questions, it's going to take you less than three minutes, it's just a short survey, you can always change your mind at the end if you decide to, but it is really going to help to give them all the information they need to tailor their message in the future towards, towards helping as many people as possible. So that's going to take you a few minutes to do. Once you've completed that, you will get a confirmation email in your email inbox and then depending on the day that you've chosen to start, you're going to start getting daily emails for 31 days and these emails are going to be invaluable to you. Once you've done your sign up, if you can pop back onto the site here, we can see that the first section here and probably one of the most important sections for anybody when they're considering going vegan is the why. Now, in order to stick to anything, you need a really strong sense of why. This little section here is going to give you everything you need. So all the main reasons why somebody would choose to embark on a vegan lifestyle, why somebody might choose to start Veganuary for animals, animal welfare, animal cruelty, animal health, for the general health of yourself, for your general well-being for the environment, for the environmental issues, for the impact on the environment that, that being a meat eater can have, and also for your own nutrition. So there really is something here for everybody. A lot of people, animals and animal welfare are the main reasons why they do decide to go vegan. Animals are not our property and should not be used for food, clothing, research or entertainment. If we go further into here, it talks about the fact that animals are sentient beings, that they can feel emotions and suffer just as much as, as anybody else and that their lives matter to them. Moving on down, it gives you sections here which explain how all animals in the food industry 
are treated. And if we just pop into here, it goes into really good detail. How they're farmed, how they're treated, how they're reared. There's a lot of behind the scenes footage. A lot of undercover videos. With references and it basically just goes through each individual type of animal to explain exactly how they're treated. So it really is a great way, it really does clear up a lot of myths, a lot of misconceptions. And literally just watching one or two of these behind the scenes undercover videos alone is probably enough for most people to decide to give Veganuary a go. Moving on from the animals into health. This is the all-round health benefits of a plant-based vegan diet. And again, they've split it into sections about the anti antibiotics used in modern farming for people that are concerned with weight, diabetes, cholesterol, their high blood pressure, if any of these are concerns of yours, there's obviously something here for, for everybody to, to take a look at. So, for example, high blood pressure. Approximately 30% of the UK population have high blood pressure. Many studies show that vegetarians and vegans in particular have low blood pressure than meat eaters. So literally just here, the environment. A lot of people are not aware of the environmental factors involved in rearing of livestock for food so a lot of people tend to find this quite shocking a lot of people heard, have heard of global warming and the major international environmental issues but a lot of people are, are unaware how a vegan diet can help reduce a lot of the the strain on on resources on the environment This is a great visual here. How many litres of water a day does your meal use? So one bag of potatoes uses 290 litres. One beef steak uses 4,650. And an apple uses 70. So that's quite an interesting little visual there. Moving on, nutrition. This is a great section for anybody that is perhaps worried about the nutritional impact of going vegan. It's also a great section for anybody who might still be under the control of their parents, who has a spouse or a partner that, that isn't convinced that going vegan is the healthiest way forward. You're going to find a lot of helpful, useful information in here. It basically runs through a lot of the main questions that people have, where do you get your vitamins, where do you get your iron, best sources of calcium, all this kind of thing. Back up to the main section, the vegan starter kit, this is a really helpful section for everybody. It's got everything in here from lists of accidentally vegan products, vegan myths, vegan labelling. This is essential reading over here, so we'll just pop into there. And this is going to be your invaluable friend the next time you go shopping. It's basically going to teach you to be a super expert label speed reader. And vegans are ninjas at reading labels. And it just runs through the, the, the basic things that you can do to check that the item is suitable for vegans. So does it say vegan on the label? Is it labeled vegetarian? There's a fantastic list here of all the things that you need to look out for. 
goes into e numbers and the may contain labeling this is actually the allergen labeling in the uk so a lot of the time this is a legal requirement and it is mainly to alert people to the presence of allergens rather than to alert vegans or vegetarians to to what may be in their diet but it is a really fantastic and easy way to, to check that the items in the supermarket are actually vegan or not and whenever a label states it may contain milk for example that item does not ne that labeling does not necessarily mean that the item is not vegan there are lots of vegan accidentally vegan products that state may contain milk and that's basically a legal requirement to cover the factory to cover the manufacturer so a lot of products that state that are actually vegan back into the starter kit There's a list here of all the accidentally vegan products in the UK and there is actually a section up here where you can switch from UK to Australia to the USA and I imagine these accidentally vegan products will actually change depending on your locality. There's a great big list of things here that are quite obvious, things like peanut butter, ketchup, baked beans, hummus, crumpets, bagels, and then there's a list of things that might be a little bit more surprising, such as Oreos, Doritos, Co-op Jam Donuts, certain flavours of Pringles, Ritz Crackers, Skittles. Things that a lot of people might be quite surprised at that are vegan. Things that can be easily found in most supermarkets in the UK. into here this is going to be really helpful for a lot of you this is going to really help you at least for the first few weeks there are literally tons and tons of meal plans here for every eventuality family friendly quick and convenient gluten free sports nutrition for people that love to cook for people that are soya free people that are nut free there is literally no excuse for not giving Veganuary a try. There is something here for everybody. I absolutely defy anybody to say that there is not a recipe here, there is not a meal plan here, there, are not, there is not enough resources here to get you through 31 days. Moving into the recipe section, this is a fantastic section in itself. So firstly, we come to the section, the worldwide section. So there's literally something here for everybody. British, American, Italian, Indian, Mexican, Turkish and Middle East, Chinese, French, Greek, Caribbean, North African, Irish, German. Literally, whatever type of cuisine you're looking for, you'll find it in here. Another way to search is by meal of the day. So as we can see here, breakfast, dinner, lunch, snacks and sweet treats. There literally is not enough days in Veganuary for you to exhaust this list. There, there is something here for any, everybody. There is no way you would get through all these recipes in 31 days. So there's plenty there to keep you going through Veganuary and beyond. You can also search through lifestyle. So things like gluten free, child friendly, freezer friendly, on a budget, if you want to go raw vegan, if you're pregnant, if you're looking at weight loss, wheat free, yeast free, there is a, a meal plan here and recipes here to suit everybody. Back into, into the main section here, we're going to pop into myths. This is a really, really useful place for you to get a lot of your basic questions answered. If you thought of a question, I can guarantee that it will be answered in here. It's also a great place for if the people around you are a little bit unsure as to whether you should be going vegan, whether it's healthy, whether it's safe, whether it's suitable for you and your individual lifestyle, health, anything like that, there will be a question in here that's been answered. And this is basically, it's also not only a good place to educate yourself, but a good place to educate others. If you do feel that there is going to be 
situations arising where people do question why you want to start Veganuary, why you're looking into a vegan lifestyle, why you're considering it, there will be something in here to answer those questions, to give you a little bit of confidence, give you a little bit of background information, a little bit of knowledge, and just arm yourself with some facts. As we can see, you keep going, and these are all literally frequently asked questions. There's no such thing as a silly question. but that's going to really help you get through a lot of, of tricky, sticky situations. And again, it, there will be something in there. If you've thought of it, they will have answered it in there. So straight back to the main page here. As you can see, there is literally every resource you could possibly need to help you through 31 days and hopefully beyond. There is absolutely no reason yet I've heard for anybody not to do Veganuary. There is something here for everybody. Choose compassion. Take the pledge. And I'll be here throughout the whole month of January. Please get in touch. Drop me a comment. Drop me an email. I'll be here to help you through. As if the lovely people at Veganuary hadn't given you enough information or resources. There are literally thousands and thousands of people out there on hand for you, night and day. No matter where you live across the globe, there is somebody who wants to help you get through your 31 day pledge and to continue being vegan beyond. Don't be afraid to, to ask questions. Don't be afraid to, to do your research, do your homework, go through this entire site step by step by step. And it's going to give you all the resources you need to sign up for Veganuary and to go vegan in 2018. What are you waiting for? Let's sign up and I'll meet you on the other side.